is it so cold recently here? It actually doesn't feel cold as is, but the wind chill makes it feel like you're up in the mountains. Like a brand new trail there, huh? One funny thing yesterday while filming all that Chinese New Year stuff, I actually wanted to go to the art gallery because they said there was some Chinese New Year artwork for the occasion, but I went there, it seemed like everyone was on strike and they were just walking out the door. I was like, what's going on here? Like, should I go in? I eventually didn't. And then apparently today I read in the news there was like a labor dispute there. Makes me wonder if I should have walked in. Everything would have been empty if you think about it. First odd thing I read today though, how about this? I don't even know if it's real. It says, Lawyer with bed bugs falling out of clothing causes Rogers County Courthouse to close early Monday. The Rogers County Courthouse closed early Monday due to bed bugs. Rogers County Sheriff Scott Walton said a lawyer came up to a third floor courtroom with bugs falling out of his clothing. Quote, hard to imagine someone doesn't know. You know, that some bed bugs are crawling all over them, certainly in abundance. Can you imagine that? Someone walking in there, all these bugs falling off his clothes? It's like something right off of a cartoon. Courthouse officials had a meeting and decided to close the courthouse at noon until the bed bugs were gone. Quote, I was told the individual that had them also shook his jacket over the prosecutor files, Sheriff Walton said. And to make it even more extravagant, exterminators were called to the 90,000 square foot building and were prepared to work through the night to get rid of the pests. Employees and others treated themselves as a precaution. While well, I still wonder if that's actually real, it makes me wonder if that was a plan from the lawyer because he wasn't prepared, so that way he gets more time for the case. And with people here in Canada afraid of recreational drones, how about this one? It says, Canadian Air Force to have armed drones in coming years, Commander says. The Royal Canadian Air Force is hoping to pull the trigger on the purchase of new armed drones within six years after spending nearly two decades weighing different options. The Canadian Forces has been working since the early 2000s to identify and buy a fleet of UAVs that conduct surveillance over Canada's vast territory as well as support military missions abroad. Maybe you wonder with that picture, is that a symbolism of that reality in terms of I guess the drones and stuff that we have here? It looks so primitive compared to what you saw like in the Russian story, that one about their drone or the one in the US. I thought this was kind of funny too. It said, no previous federal government had authorized adding drones, armed or not, as a permanent fixture within the Canadian forces in the same vein as fighter jet or helicopter squadrons. Well, I guess that's good for like the military and stuff like that. I was just thinking from a recreational flyer, no previous government had had nightmare scenarios of toy drones and stuff either, huh? Again, that picture just makes me wonder if that's how behind we're gonna be in terms of tech, like with things like drones and stuff, like even with recreational people. Hinder it, make it too ridiculous, and no one will want to innovate in that field here and you'll have to rely on buying stuff from people all the time instead. Oh, they're forcing them to run during the cold around the lake here? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a challenge. Frozen ice, huge sunlight, and some of it is water. Oh man. I think that was technically the hardest drone shot ever that I have to try to do. It's based on the low light sensor and stuff, trying to capture it. It looked kind of cool. It looked like a piece of artwork and stuff like that. Dang ice out there. I literally used up two batteries trying to get this one shot, trying to get it right. I have to keep changing filters, trying to match the lighting and all that. Ugh. I know a lot of people say the flying is the easy part, I guess, of trying to capture like the video and stuff. No way. He's trying, trying to do this, trying to catch it, I guess, in a cinematic way. I think the flying is way harder because it's more than just actual flying. It's trying to get like the right picture quality and stuff like that too, at the right speed.
All right, see you guys later.